Well, thank you very much, Heather. As Heather said, my name is Brian Krebs, and I'm a recovering journalist. Um, <laughs> I want to thank, seriously, I want to thank the National Press Foundation for uh, this prestigious award. It is a great honor, and it's hugely humbling, um, particularly since two of the last uh, three recipients of this award were Washington Post reporters and Pulitzer Prize winners to boot. Um, the late, great Anthony Shadid um, won two Pulitzers for his incredible reporting in the Middle East, for which he gave his life. And And, and Colbert King uh, won a Pulitzer for his lucid and tireless editorials at the Washington Post. Uh, and he's done some fantastic work. I, I said this was a humbling experience for me, and I, I meant that in every sense of the word. Um, prior to my getting a real job at the Washington Post, I was a, a copy aide for about four or five years. So I delivered these guys' mail and faxes. <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, which was, uh, which is, so it's incredible and kind of surreal for me to be up here. Um, another reason I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about accepting this award is it's a big score for independent journalists. Um, the hardest, the absolute hardest thing about being independent, especially if you go from being in a major newsroom is you know, making that phone call to an important person, an important organization, and saying, yeah, it's just me. And they go, oh, <laughs> what news organization? You went, yeah, it's just me. Sorry about that. Um, and, and that takes a little getting used to. Uh, but probably the most rewarding aspect of being on your own is you don't have to chase the story that everybody else is chasing. You know, you get the time and the space uh, to, to really chase the stories that matter, and if you're if you're lucky enough, you get other reporters to chase your stories. Um, ever since I left the post, I've worked very hard to convince some of my more uh, dissatisfied or dare I say disillusioned colleagues at different uh, newsrooms out there to go out on their own. And really, uh, you know, I've watched some of my best friends in in different newsrooms having to take unpaid uh, furloughs to keep their jobs. Uh, they're having to do a lot less with more. Um, they're having to be assigned or reassigned to more advertising-friendly beats. And, uh, you know, they're asked to sort of focus on doing stories that attract a lot more eyeballs uh, and clicks than actual real journalism. And the biggest reason that I'm excited about this award is it gives me a bigger megaphone to be sort of the main independent reporter guy uh, and, and to push that message out there, which is if you have a deep knowledge of what you do, if you have a niche and you love what you do and you're passionate about that, you should really consider going independent. And <laughs> You, you will almost certainly work harder. Thank you. You will almost certainly work harder than you've ever worked before. Uh, but I think you'll probably be happier, probably be wealthier, and you'll still be producing fantastic journalism if you're doing it right. <laughs> so here's my open invitation to all of you out there. If you've thought about going independent, if you thought about doing your own thing, maybe you, you, uh, you're not really sure, do me a favor, shoot me a note, my website, krebsonsecurity.com. I am more than happy to talk with any of you about the failures, the successes, all of it. And uh, once again, I want to thank the MPF for having me here uh, and, and for this wonderful honor. I want to thank my amazing uh, business manager, AKA Mrs. Krebs, who's seated in the middle of the room, uh, who's had to put up with an unbelievable amount of crap on my behalf over the last five years. And uh, I want to thank you all for having me here. Cheers. <laughs>